Hello lads and lasses and welcome back to the channel today we have some interesting news we have uh, some CGI pictures of the new stack that is in partnership with seller front of shirt sponsor uh, and then we have some contract updates which is good news for us isn't it just um, so yes let's we'll get started with the new CGI images that have come uh, from Newcastle. Uh, we, we've got a couple. There's one of the outside, uh, the, the fan zone from the Gallagher. Uh, you can't see much of it. It looks like a stack, pretty much. Oh, I mean, what else would you expect? The inside looks quite nice. It looks like they're gonna hang up some flags. Again, it just looks like a stack. Um, the first view is just inside St. James's stack. Um, not the main stage area. It looks like it's facing away from that in that CGI image. But then we get the the central plaza and main stage, which has two screens either side of a stage. Um, it'll be interesting to see the stack over in Seaburn has their main stage, and then opposite that they have one big TV. So it'll be interesting to see if we do something like that, or if we keep it as two screens either side of the main stage. And then on their Instagram, they have a bit of a different view from a higher angle. It's it's just the main stage again. I mean, you see in the pictures as well. If you haven't already, they'll be somewhere over there. Um, yes, it's it's the stack. It's exciting. Not sure when it's going to be done yet. Still, I don't believe there's been an update. I think it is still end of November, start of December time. They want to get it done for. Uh, which would be nice. I would have liked to have done. Uh, I would. I would have liked to have it been done sooner. Uh, they're still in the platinum process, though. the The good news is it shouldn't take as long to build as like a a normal building, because it's just reusing old shipping containers. Um, obviously they're still going to have to do bits and bobs with like plumbing and that because they'll have to be toilets and sinks they'll have to put refrigerators and freezers and stuff in there so still there, there's still quite a bit to do I don't think we'll get it as early as we thought because I would have I would have liked to have gone there to watch the Champions League matches and that um, when they when they were going to be on Um yeah, we've got some CGI images. Bit of an update there. Lovely stuff. It looks quite good. I can't imagine it'll look too dissimilar from those images. The one at the stack doesn't look too different. Um, I guess this one will have uh, the seller sponsorship on on the main stage. Um, but yeah, it looks very decent. Excited for that to start to get done. Now, some contract talks. As we know, Bruno's got his contract. We'll speak about that last, though. Because um, that has a very interesting development I did not know about. Uh, so we'll get into the other ones. We have open contract talks with Fabian Shaw and Callum Wilson. I said in a video last week, uh, I think it was the Lloyd Kelly one, was it? I think it was. Um, that we have quite a few players Uh going into a contract expiration years they all expire in the summer Fabian Shaw, Callum Wilson one of them, we're getting their deals sorted out pretty early on, not a surprise there, they're the two players I said within that group that would definitely be getting uh, contract extensions uh, others like Paul Dummett and Loris Karius are, we're unsure if we'll get one I would hope so for some of the players, for, for Dummett and Karius on that list, Um there are others where I don't think we'll get them. Matt Ritchie, I think, is one of the ones running out. I don't think he'll get one. I honestly don't think Dummett or Carriers will probably end up getting one. Uh, but we are getting the two main ones done now. Both of them getting a bit on. Uh, Wilson's, what, 32? Maybe. Uh, and then Shaw's about the same. I can't remember their exact ages. That's poor from me. I do apologise. Um, but they're in their 30s. So not long contracts, I don't imagine, will be uh, given to both. Um, but I, we'll have to see it, won't we? Have to see what happens there. And then the Bruno contract. 
some big news. Um, a hundred million pound release clause, which isn't great. I would prefer if we didn't have that release clause in there. Because, uh, I mean, we, we told Liverpool no to a transfer. Uh, and they, what was it, 80 million, 60, 60 80 million. I think something, somewhere between there was their bid. We said no. 100 million release clause if they can just pay that that would be a worry forward uh but if it means we can get this contract situation over and done with then so be it not a player that needed a contract extension still had a few year left um but he, he wanted the extension he wanted to be able to, uh, to to stay long term with the club might be something him and his agent wanted to put in just in case but 100 million is 100 million. I'd rather lose them for 100 million than have it run out and and get pennies for them. Also, before I forget, this this has happened recently. Uh, there is talks about Harvey Barnes switching national allegiances, which I think is quite interesting. Not getting picked for England. Might move over to Scotland. If I'm going to be honest, probably the better move. I don't think he gets into the squad with Southgate. Uh, there's a lot of talent on the wings. I think Corey Barnes could be in there if he starts getting the game time at Newcastle, which would be nice. Um, yeah, I don't think he gets. I don't think he does a lot under Southgate. Southgate's gone soon, though. This is what after the Euros next year, I think he's going. Thankfully, and also um, Elliot Anderson might be switching allegiances to England, which would be an interesting one. Again, I would like it. I'd, I'd like them to play for the England team. Under Southgate, he definitely won't, because Southgate likes to just pick his mats, uh, which is infuriating, having to watch Jordan Henderson and Calvin Phillips play English football, or just watching Southgate ball in general is awful to watch. But, that aside... I don't think he gets the game time yet. Or, again, maybe in a couple of years he gets the game time, but right now I don't think he does. With Scotland, he probably will. Whether we make that change uh, is yet to be seen. But an interesting one either way uh, for, for two players who could potentially be playing for Scotland or England, or they might both go in the opposite direction. Quite interesting stuff. A lot going on. So that is all for this one. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit uh, 200. We're on 165 currently. Not too bad. Trying to hit 200 before the end of the year. So we've got like two and a half months. Doable. It's doable. Anyways, while you're down, down hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button. Or, you know, the opposite way around. If you're going to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on so you know when I upload in the future. Uh, we're uploading every so often now. Not as much as happening like it was in the transfer window, because that was mental. Um, but I still getting the uploads done. We play Brentford soon, which is exciting. When is it? Saturday. Can't wait. Excited to go watch some Newcastle football instead of England, because that game was absolutely awful against Ukraine. I did watch it. I might put the highlights from my stream up uh, in a bit. I've got it downloaded somewhere, so I can't do that. I'm just feeling a bit lazy at the moment, if you can't tell. But yes, anyways, hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. In a bit, pal.